Hello and welcome. It is Butterfly. Thank you for coming back to visit with me. Uh, so today we're going to do a flip through. There's a lot of curiosity about my bookshelf and all of its contents. And um, so I'm going through uh, my decks one at a time and giving you a bit of a flip through uh, so that you can see what there is, what my interests are, because I love all of the decks that I have. Um, and it also, it gives you an idea of, you know, what might be available to you. I have an Etsy shop with some readings available, and if there's a deck that I don't have available for you on Etsy, certainly you can, you know, talk to me about it, and we can see if we can work something out to get a spread going for you. Today, I'm talking about the Animal Tarot, the Animal Totem Tarot, actually by Lisa Robertson. Uh, so there are a lot of decks that are coming out now with these this size box. There's some pros and cons with this. Uh, the box itself is quite lovely. It is, you know, durable. So if you take care of your stuff, as I do, certainly it's, it's nice. It is closed on the bottom so your cards won't go disappearing. And it also has a ribbon so that when you put your deck inside here, you can easily pull it out as well. Um, the book that comes with it lays nicely inside. Um, it is a nice sized book. However, I think they could be a bit more efficient in their use of space um, because there are some decks that, that I have that come in smaller boxes and there is a lot of space. And I mean, the, the book handles really well, uh, but you have like a full page spread for the pictures that are available which is nice. Um, it's a black and white sort of a shady picture. Um, and the writing for each for each card has, there you go, one page and two pages and then a little bit. So that is generally the amount of writing that you're going to have for each one. And it gives you a, a breakdown in different categories of how the card meaning would apply to you. So they have a bit of a quote to start with, and then they give you some description, and then they apply it in uh, business and career, family and relationships, um, health and well-being, and then it gives you some kind of key questions that you might want to you know, answer for yourself. This is something that I find that's a bit of a waste, because if I'm going to write something, I normally... I mean, it really depends. I'm really picky about how I write in books. Some books, the mood will take me. I will highlight, which is shameless. Um, uh, sometimes I'll write it in pencil so that, you know, theoretically I could erase it, although I never do. Uh, but it kind of won't bleed through to the other side of the page. It really kind of depends on the quality of the paper. Um, in a book like this, I never would write in it. So to have, like, writing like this... Mm -mm. It's just a, I would never use that page to write in um, a Katero book like this. They kind of are a little bit more precious to me in that way, and I would have like a separate journal to, to do my tarot journaling because journaling is something I do a lot of, so it never would stay in something like this. I don't know. Everybody kind of has their own way of doing things, <clears throat> and I just think it could probably be a little bit more compact because for somebody who does have a lot of tarot decks because it's kind of what I do um, personally and I'm, I'm growing my my, uh, my business more professionally as well to do more than just face-to-face -face. I'm doing more of a, of a business online and carrying that into the ethers so um, yeah I just I just want to use less space on my shelf for the packaging like this so that's that's a comment I have about that um, but Aside from the, I mean, I'd rather have a durable book uh, box than to have something that's really flimsy. That's for sure. So, on to the deck itself. I love this deck. Love it. Love it. Love it. I love the car. The the colors are my favorite thing about them. The backs. I'll show you the back. And I'm not going to go too much into anything else. I'm just going to give you the flip through because it's a it's a typical kind of a tarot deck, but it associates everything with with animals. Okay, let's see if I can see. I don't really have a zoom. I have my laptop. Technology is not my thing, so bear with me. 
And I wonder if I can get it a little bit closer to you just by here. That's how I'm a dinosaur. My zoom is uh, bringing it closer to you. That's my zoom. Okay, I hope you can see that. It looks a little... Oh, it is supposed to be bright under. I'm looking at things upside down. Okay, so this is bright. This is not the light. And the thickness of the card is actually quite nice. I like this. It's um, it's thin, but it's not flimsy by any way at all. I do shuffle quite differently with tarot and, tarot and oracle decks than I would with uh, playing cards. When I get together with people and we're playing with the playing cards, um, the cards get very abused. And when I shuffle with um, cards to read... <coughs> I treat them as though they're very precious, and they are. The amount of money that we spend on our card decks and uh, the reasons why we use these decks is quite different, and I don't look at these as disposable as I would you know, regular playing cards. I like the fact that these are borderless. When I hear people commenting on decks, um, I never would have thought to critique whether a card has borders or not. I'm definitely not one person to edit or modify my decks at all. I would never trim them. Um, I have tried edging one deck. And that was enough. <laughs> that was enough. I put a gold with a gold uh, sparkly marker. I did the edging in. And um, yeah, I'm done with modifying. If I don't like the deck, I won't buy it. So this one has no borders, and I like I like the way that it shows. Although I do have some decks with borders, of course, and um, sometimes if the border is repetitive throughout the whole deck, and it really kind of reduces the size of the picture, and uh, also doesn't really add to a lot of information. Um, you know, either with color or with words or something. I just you know, I get it. I never would have thought of commenting on borders, but, you know, it's, I pay more attention to that now. And the size of this deck handles really well. It fits comfortably in my hand and is not, um, it's not oversized. Sometimes oversized decks can be, well, they're challenging to read with, um, although you get to see a bigger picture and it shows up nicer. It's, it's just that, especially now in a digital age, there's fewer of them that fit on a screen. So the size, uh, the size kind of can be a bit of an obstacle. This deck is nice. So on screen, I could probably, you know, offer a five card or a seven card reading with a deck this size, as opposed to larger cards that, you know, I'd probably offer a one card or a three card reading with larger ones because they just, uh, to get close up, you just don't see it as well on the screen. There you go. That is the end. That. Just uh, bounce you up a little bit here. Hope this finds you well. I really enjoy this deck, so um, perhaps if you want to have a card reading for me, you could contact me with the information in the description box below. And uh, 
definitely I have some packages available through Etsy. Um, I usually leave my email address as well. So, so long as, uh, you know, the contact information is not being, um, as long as it's being used responsibly, I certainly will keep that available. And um, if I don't answer, it's probably because it's either gone through junk mail or something's happened. I will definitely respond. Uh, yeah, so there it is. Onward and upward. Have a wonderful day.